What's up, what's up? This is your boy Young Soul back with another video and I'm finding something very interesting going on in the internet and YouTube gaming community um, surrounding this Witcher 3 and it's not so much the frame rates or the resolution. What I'm finding is I'm noticing that people who it's the Witcher 3 and how people are perceiving the Witcher 3. I'm seeing a lot of people who are um who it seems like it's divided people who played bloodborne you know a couple months ago or 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 more recently and people who haven't played bloodborne i'm i, I and it seems weird i know but but i'm noticing the people who have played bloodborne or who have made it known that they played bloodborne played it extensively, beat it, platinumed it, or whatever, are finding Witcher to be completely different than people who, from what I know, haven't played Bloodborne, and their experience with The Witcher 3. And here's what I mean. I play Bloodborne, I'm one trophy away, the Thumerian Queen, uh, I need to beat her in order to get the Platinum, so I'm, I'm, I'm very close. I I'm taking a break from it, you know, because... I'm in the Chalice Dungeons and it's kind of whooping my ass a little bit and I don't want help from anyone. I want to beat it by, completely by myself. So I'm just taking a break from it, playing some other games. You know, I got The Witcher and obviously you see the footage here and I'm sorry, it's the footage from the last video so I apologize for that. Um, I should record some more so I can put some new footage on the background. But anyway, um, what I'm noticing is some people around YouTube and people on the internet who have made it known that they played Bloodborne are looking at The Witcher 3 and, you know, kind of a little more little more scrutiny. With a little more scrutiny. And I think it's for a couple reasons. Um, and it's not just the difficulty. I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, it's the difficulty. It's not just that. I think there's a couple reasons, and I'm just going to lay out a couple that I noticed. Because I played Bloodborne, like I say, just about Platinum. And I'm going to tell you, The Witcher 3 is kind of boring. It's kind of boring and it kind of drags on. And I think a lot of that has to do with coming off of, you know, Bloodborne. And you're looking at The Witcher, like Bloodborne, and again, it's not just the difficulty. It's the fact that with Bloodborne, around every corner, you had to fight enemies. It kept you on the edge of your seat at all times. Every time you turn the corner, open the door, Boom, you had to fight an enemy. Not just the boss. The reg Anyone who played Bloodborne knows you get sloppy with the regular enemies and if you fight three or four of them at a time and you get sloppy with them, they can kill you too. So you had to stay on your P's and Q's throughout the whole game, around every turn, you know, etc, etc. Whereas you look at The Witcher 3, there's some really good battles when you fight them and then after you fight them, Lots of dialogue, lots of tra traversing the world, and, and don't get me wrong, traversing the world is cool, but when you're doing a lot of dialogue and then chasing this and going all the way over here and going all the way there, it kind of takes you back off the edge of your seat. You kind of fall back in your seat some, so it kind of, in my opinion, gets a little drawn out, gets a little, I'll admit, boring. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, it kind of gets boring. Now, when action picks up and you're fighting a boss like a griffin or or like the uh, the the married the married uh, dead ghost girl with the at the well or what have you, you know those are cool. But then it slows down again and it it gets too drawn out. So I just found it interesting that people who played Bloodborne, I'm finding have the same experience with The Witcher that I'm having, where it's kind of drawn out, it's kind of like slow, and, and it's kind of, you know, on the edge of boring. Now, I still think the I like the game. I like it better than I think most people, most most of the people I'm hearing from who play Bloodborne, but, but it's still drawn out, and it's still, eh. Like, for instance, I'll take give you an example. The fighting that you just finished seeing me fight those dogs, you saw him jumping around a lot. It didn't look like he was in, as engaged with the enemy. For instance, when you play Bloodborne, you really feel like you're engaged with those enemies when you're fighting them. It really feels visceral. No pun intended with the visceral attacks. But it really felt visceral. It felt like I was actually in the fight. Whereas, even now, when I'm fighting, it feels like I'm, like... I don't know, like... 
a distance, even when I'm right up next to the enemy, I still feel like I'm not, like, engaging enough. And it kind of takes me out of the flow of the fight. But I still, for all, for my first impressions, I still like it. I just thought that it was interesting that how I, that I'm finding most people who put a lot of time into Bloodborne are looking at The Witcher as it's slow and it's uh, on, uh, uh, a little bit boring, to be honest. So let me know what you think. If, did you play? Are you playing The Witcher? How do you like it? And if you played Bloodborne and you have The Witcher now, tell me what you're thinking. Tell me if you agree or disagree in the comments below. Uh, that's about it. Again, I'm sorry for the using the same gameplay I used on the last video. I didn't record any since I've been playing. I apologize. I'm going to get some more recording done so I can, when I make new videos, it's more stuff. So uh, let me know what you think. All right? Peace.